All right, cool. So, hey, what's up? Um, this is uh, a tutorial walkthrough kind of ish thing um, for the Amanda Cook, Dan McMurray uh, version of pieces. Um, so basically, um, what I'm going to do for uh, the majority of this video is I'm, I'm basically just kind of going to go through and play uh, the parts slowly um, in real time because I learned it trying to uh, or I learned it slowing down the YouTube videos I could find of him playing uh, to um, 0.75 and, and 0.5%, um, which was very uh, annoying because it's not a high quality set of videos. Um, and uh, they're very YouTube compressed, uh, 30 FPS slowed down. It's kind of hard to see what he's doing sometimes. Uh, so I'm just gonna kind of play through it slowly uh, through the different sections and kind of show you the transitions between those sections. Um, yeah, so um, <clears throat> bear with me. Uh, this is like the first tutorial video I've ever made, so I'm not very uh, skilled at them. Um, but without further ado, uh, let's just hop right into it. Um, so first half, uh, or coming into the bridge when drums come in, uh, you just simple swell, just nice, big. Uh, and then you come in and you hit uh, your kick and your floor tom on the downbeat, on the one. Um, <clears throat> so then you're going to come in with a pattern uh, on your tom. Uh, your kick is going to be on the downbeats. Um, and so your the pattern is going to be right, 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 left, repeat. So. Um, and then on every four and, you're gonna hit your high tom. So. As you hear, I added my uh, hi-hat pedal in there uh, for the upbeats. So uh, every four and, you hit the high tom. Um, so you do that for, uh, I believe, four bars, uh, and then you're going to kick it into the second half of the bridge. Um, and the second half of the bridge, you're going to um, come in, hit your crash, your right crash, um, or your ride if you only have a crash and a ride. Um, and uh, you're going to hit that and then come in with uh, your kick on eighth notes. So constant drive on that. Um, and then you uh, are gonna do a similar pattern on your tom, except you're gonna add one more stroke in your left hand. So uh, I'm gonna play the first pattern and then transition into the second pattern and show you what that looks like. So. Okay, and so real quick, um, you're still gonna hit the high tom. Um, but whenever you hit, uh, I, I think it's beat four, you're gonna do a triplet on the low tom and also triplet using the high tom, uh, but hitting the high tom on that uh, four and. So that's gonna look like this. Um, so again, uh, first, section first pattern going into this pattern so So you're gonna do that again for uh, four bars, um, and then the last time you're going to transition into the chorus. And so on that, um, pretty much the same thing, except at the very end, um, instead of going up here and hitting this tom, you're just gonna do a full uh, set of triplets on the low tom, um, and then uh, you're gonna hit your kick on, um, um, it's the, it's the uh of uh, one of the beats. I apologize, I don't know which beat it is. I'd have to go through it. Um, but you're gonna hit your kick 
and then snare, snare, high, high, low, low, coming in on the one, um, while well, you're actually gonna hit your kick, crash, and ride. And that's gonna be your downbeat coming into the chorus, uh, or on the chorus. Um, and then you'll go straight into the diamonds, the downbeat. On the chorus. Um, all right. Uh, so let's do uh, pattern two, pattern B on the bridge, and then transition into the chorus. All right, so. So from there, um, that was the, you don't give your heart in pieces. And then um, there at the end, we're gonna do triplets down. There's a lot of triplets in this. Uh, starting with your left hand on the high tom, coming to your low tom, and then you go into that uh, little interlude pattern uh, in the chorus. Um, so that's gonna look like this. So uh, we're gonna go from heart uh, in pieces on here on your crash and your ride, left crash ride, uh, into that. And then uh, I'll slowly go through the pattern in the instrumental. So. <laughs> okay, so what you're doing there is coming down from here and then crash, kick. You're gonna do your crash and your kick um, on every beat, every down beat, um, and then um, every three, though, you're going to do, uh, uh, you're going to hit your kick on the uh, and then crash snare. Okay, so that's every three. Um, so again, And then you're gonna do it again, so hit your four. Uh, and then he does a little high tom kind of thing. He hits his high tom kind of to do a little fill coming out of it back into the uh, diamonds for when the lyrics come in. Um, so that part uh, is a little, it, it sounds like he hits his kick maybe twice somewhere in there. Um, you don't have to. Uh, if you can do it well, it can add a little bit. Um, that's one of the parts in the videos where it's at least for me, is a little bit hard to decipher. Um, so it's a it's slightly more ambiguous on the kick right there. The tom thing is uh, pretty self-explanatory, so I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, and that is the that's the transition back into the big hits with the lyrics. So. So that kind of, uh, so like I said, you can add another kick in there maybe. Something like that, come in like kick, uh, kick on the uh, uh, a, a one, two, three. Something like that maybe. Um, and then, uh, so it's the same thing. So that was hard in pieces and then do the little thing and then do, 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 and then go back into the diamonds where uh, you don't hide yourself to tease us. Same thing, go back into the. Um, so same pattern there, uh, same exact Tom thing, back into you don't give your heart in pieces. Uh, same pattern again. Um, and then it changes when it gets to um, where we would normally do the. Um, to then go into you don't hide yourself to tease us. Instead of going back to the big hits on your left crash kick and ride, 
um, what you do is uh, you hit ride and cr uh, left crash or both crashes, um, but you keep the pattern going through the second time of, um, you don't hire yourself to tease us. Uh, you do a very similar, except uh, it changes a little bit. Um, your kick constantly stays on the downbeat. There's no uh, and then other hit. It's constantly on the downbeat. Um, and every third beat where you would uh, normally hit your snare um, with your left hand, you're actually gonna hit your ride with your left hand. Um, but keep the pattern going uh, just as normal on the toms and your uh, right crash. So that's gonna sound like this. Um, so again, we'll go through, um, I'll go ahead and do the second time through on You Don't Give Your Heart, that instrumental thing, and then this little bit of a new pattern uh, during You Don't Hide Yourself to Tease Us. Um, and then I'll show you what that looks like uh, right up to where we kind of go into uh, like the little interlude right before the instrumental and then we'll transition into the instrumental. So uh, going into the second you don't give your heart on. Then that's where you go into um, uh, like right before the instrumental um, so you hit your uh, and then you hit your tom triplet so you're gonna be the left hand um, and then we actually go into a groove we transition into a groove um, so what that looks like is your triplets down there and where we would normally go into that pattern of um, we're just gonna hit our crash and our kicks gonna be going on the eighth notes um, so crash on the one uh, but then we're gonna hit our ride with our kick um, and then uh, we're gonna add some stair hits in there every time we hit our snare we don't hit our kick and instead of hitting our ride, we hit our right crash. Um, so. Um, and at the end, uh, there's a little that goes into the instrumental. Um, so what that is, is that's uh, right, left, right, left, right, kick. Right, left, high, high, low, low. So again, Right, left, right, left, right, kick, right, left, high, high, low, low. So a little bit faster. Again. Okay. Um, so uh, I'll play a uh, whole uh, second course through, again, up until that part. So here we go. paying attention, you would have uh, realized uh, that I accidentally did not hit uh, my ride um, on the first three beat, um, going into that little um, alternate chorus interlude pattern, which is my mistake. Uh, you're supposed to... Um, right there, and that's where I missed it. 
Um, so I apologize for that. Um, so, okay. So that was uh, the second You Don't Give Your Heart to Pieces uh, into the little interlude. And then we're uh, in You Don't Hide Yourself to Tease Us. And then... That's a little. That's a little transition fill, right into the downbeat of the instrumental, and then we head into the instrumental uh, patterns. Um, and so there's essentially uh, three patterns. I'm going to label A, B, and C uh, for the instrumental. Uh, so uh, A is obviously the first one that we go into, um, and so we're going to go. Uh, I'm gonna do that transition little fill with the snare again one more time. And then I'm just gonna play through what uh, the fill or the pattern looks like um, slowly uh, so you guys can get, a, get the feel of it, so. So again, one more time. So I, I, I can't break everything down uh, step by step. It's a little, uh, accounts are a little tricky for me. Um, so uh, that's why I'm trying to do it slowly. Um, so that's pattern A, uh, and you're gonna do just another fill of the, back into, uh, or sorry, into pattern B, uh, which is very similar. Your left hand is pretty much doing, um, so it's doing some very similar movements, um, uh, but a little bit different. So pattern B. Um, so the first time you play pattern B, it has a weird fill out that goes back into pattern A. So let me play, replay pattern B, show you what that looks like. It's a, it's a little strange, so again. Oops! It's like a do 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 ga kind of thing. Um, so, one more time, uh, gonna do the snare fill. Uh, going into the instrumental, gonna do pattern A, transition to pattern B, and then we're gonna do pattern B, and then transition, transition back into pattern A, okay? And this is for the instrumental, so. straight back into pattern A. So. Back into pattern B again. And then uh, just a very regular uh, and then we go into pattern C, which is uh, a little bit trickier. Um, so forgive me if I mess up a little bit. I'll try to get it right. Uh, it's a little, it's harder to play slowly than it is to play it fast, uh, in my opinion. Um, so pattern B, gonna go into pattern C, so. Uh, 
so you're doing a very similar thing with the kick and your right hand, uh, you're kind of doing that kind of alternating uh, little hits there. Um, and it's, uh, there's three strokes that you're doing with the left hand, so. Uh, I might have added one or two, uh, <laughs> which is fine. Um, having a very uh, consistent beating on the kick and the floor tom uh, sounds good. Um, so if you add a stroke or two in your left hand, don't freak out. It still sounds cool. Um, so uh, yeah, so you're doing that, and that's uh, pattern C is what leads into uh, the break that he does, like the break that just happened in my voice right there. The break. Uh, so you're. So just more triplets, uh, I believe, on the snare. You want to do it like he does, you do. Um, and so the break is, uh, oh sorry, so you start the snare hits on the three. Um, and then the break actually happens on the one beat and you come back in on the two beat. So it makes it, kind of weird uh, coming back in to pattern C. That's what you come into after the break. Um, so it's a, it's, it's a little funky, um, but uh, just it, it sounds cool. Uh, so um, you come back in on beat two uh, with snare hit and your crash and you just kind of continue the beat from there. Uh, so uh, from here, I'm just gonna Go back to the very beginning of, uh, like right before the instrumental, do a little snare thing, go into it, I'm gonna play pattern A, go to pattern B, go back to pattern A, one more time to pattern B, go back to, or go to pattern C, do the break, and then come back into pattern C and just show you what that looks like. Um, and I'm, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and go all the way to the end, um, cause he uh, just does some more snare hits and then goes back to some big hits for the uh, ending of the instrumental. So uh, this is gonna be the whole instrumental right here. So. Yeah, it's very, uh, very close to that. Um, so just for, just for my sake, I'm gonna do pattern B again and just see the break and everything. Um, so. That's pretty much it. Um, and then you just hit your way out big like we've been doing the big old diamonds. All right, thanks for watching everybody. I hope this helped and didn't make things worse or more uh, complicated, cool. Um, so uh, at the end of this, uh, right after this little part right here, I'm actually going to include 
Um, the track that I used to uh, do the cover I made with this. So it's basically, I took the Stephanie Gretzinger version, cut it up to exactly match what Amanda Cook and Dan McMurray are actually playing. Uh, so it has the break in there and everything, added a little reverb so the break is not super like, um, like dry pasta dry. Mamma mia! Um, so uh, it sounds good. Um, it also has a click and guide in it. Um, so it tells, like it's, it is the click, 72 BPM. It's telling you uh, uh, drums in, uh, build up, uh, bridge, chorus, big hits. Uh, and even on the break, since the break is weird, it stops on the one, um, comes in on the two, I have the guide actually saying uh, like break, two, break, two, three, four, one, and counting through it so um, it's not... Uh, so you you know where your one is, you know where your two is, and you know kind of where to come in and everything, and tells you when to do the big hits and all that. Um, so I'm gonna leave that at the end of this video right after this, uh, so you guys can practice along with it, um, and hopefully that'll that'll help you guys uh, get it easier than I did because it took me I took probably like two weeks just dissecting his his videos that uh, other people would post and upload it. And uh, it was uh, it was fun, but it wasn't. Uh, my hands really hurt um, a lot. Um, I got a lot of blisters, but uh, I learned it and I got a lot better drums through it. Uh, so hope this uh, helps you guys. Um, if this tutorial slash walkthrough wasn't horrible, uh, please leave uh, a like and a comment, subscribe, uh, leave a comment just letting me know how it did, if it helped you, if it didn't. Um, if it didn't help you, I'll probably cry a little bit. That's fine. Cool. I'm rambling. Here's the uh, tutorial. Uh, not the tutorial. Here's the track. Go practice. Cool. Bye. It is an it's not the rest is Instrumental.